all right everyone how you all doing today so uh answering another one of the questions you know about jesus so question being is jesus a historical figure and we can all can say that accurately he is a historical figure um jesus as we know was born over 2,000 years ago. Um, what we don't know, I guess, is is sort of really sort of everything in between that. Uh, you know, like uh, the first few years, and then we we go to like 12, and then. Like when he gets to eighteen, I'm sorry, we don't we don't see teenage years. We don't see, you know, that that growing up period. We only uh, are introduced during his ministry when Jesus is thirty years old. So overall, we know that we know that Jesus, in the biblical sense, had been born from the Virgin Mary, but. You know, like as a factual thing, what we don't know is is sort of really had it been in a manger or all these details. But the, but the facts are, you know, seeing how it went down, we know Jesus at one point in his life he was uh, living in Egypt. You know, when he was a kid, uh, Egypt was. One of his locations, but but Christ was born in Bethlehem. You know, he um, he had to flee to Egypt. You know, because at the time he was being searched for by the uh, the Roman government. They wanted to uh, put the uh, King of the Jews to death, basically. As a child so you know as that went you can see um, sort of definitely fear around I would want to say all around Jerusalem you know it, it, it wasn't a good scene there but Christ as we know uh, was born as history would tell us in uh, 3 AD Yes, that's that's what will tell us. So you're like, what? Within the calendar, you know, has to go like at zero. Well, at the same time, um, you know, I think they had created it, but I think accurately, you know, that's what the calendar is. Um, it was it was probably three years before they say. Uh, he was before Christ. But anyway, we're talking about it from that perspective. But, you know, historically, it's not going to be 100% accurate anyway. Um, biblically, you won't believe it, but yes, biblically will always be accurate. Uh, when we talk about um, faith, it's important. As well as, you know, there's real proof to this. So, yeah, you can put, you can say events leading up to the crucifixion and you can look at them uh, and say that all of these details here um, they're somebody of great importance definitely for um, for the Jews and I, and I think particularly for you know anyone who crossed Jesus's path at the time they knew he was something special but did they all know that he was God in the flesh you know some would we call it like that, but you know they they thought of him as a, as a leader in general. So was Christ a, a historical figure? Yes, he he was. Um, you know, they say he's actually taking inspiration. You know, Christ himself from other other people, other uh, fictitious elements, or or maybe even uh, Cyrus or, or other rulers. Or Jesus Christ is an original um, 
there's no other way to say it. You know, from birth till death, there are many stories about virgin born gods and goddesses. I know, I know that other thing, but you know, this particular event is real. And it's probably as real as it gets. Uh, you know, seeing as we look at it, you know, as something that just, you know, is supposed to happen. But growing up, reading the law, reading the Torah, you know, you'd have to really know God to really understand his plan. And I think you'd have it's better to be a prophet at those times because you would you wouldn't have to go X Y Z and so far just to hear God because you know prophets they could just talk to God in general and it was just so easy for them to understand you know what these things were about but people are still in Judaism culture still trying to find their Messiah when their Messiah has already been fulfilled um, by by Jesus Christ um, period <laughs> that's, that's, that's basically it he, he, he's fulfilled the law basically and, and they don't know yet but that's that's very biblical that they wouldn't understand it completely they're still they're still part of God's kingdom so again the Jewish nation there's nothing against them at all for that even though still I mean they'll eventually know the Savior it's just that you know, it, it, it's not something that people would just wake up knowing. You know, it, it's something that takes time, but it doesn't need a, a subtle realization. It just needs it just needs the knowledge, you know, the knowledge of what the Word of God says, the Gospel. Uh, the Gospel is out there, and if you read the Gospel, you'll understand that this is, this is historically accurate, and it has been planted for a really long time. In fact, since the beginning. So, uh, overall, you know, to say what we are as human beings and to say what has existed on this, the face of the earth with Jesus Christ, I mean, that that's, that's, that's some heavy stuff. So, I'm going to leave it alone until next week. But Jesus, as we know, is historically accurate. So, guys, I'll say peace. Uh, there's also a lot of conspiracies out there about the resurrection and how it happened or, or you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of conspiracies about what they think. Jesus had a wife and kid, but, but Jesus, as we know, is a man without sin, you know, whatever that means to you, I guess. But I want to say that Jesus is not, you know, a man in the image of God. Jesus is God in the image of man. And that's and that's all I have to say. Um, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.